everyone, it's Sebastian here and today I will show you a quick tutorial on how to build an AI-powered note-taking app. Now in this case, I set up two tables. The first one is the default table for users and the second one is a recording table. I have the following columns already here, like date, recording file, transcription, title, and summary. In the case of transcription, title, and summary, these columns are going to be populated with AI automatically using the new workflows feature. I'll show you how to do that in a second. The first thing we need to do in order to build our app is to pretty much being able to record audio. So in order to do that, let's add a form container so we can send information to our tables. Now, the form already comes with pre-populated uh, fields. So let's remove all of them and add them from scratch. Now, the first thing we need to do is add an audio recorder. Let's look for that component here. Now, let's make sure we add the auto recorder inside the forms container. Now, we're going to select on the options menu where are we going to send this recorded file. In this case, let's select the recording file column. Now, before moving into the next step, let's do a couple more things. The first one is to select the form container. And since we want to also record the date of when this audio was recorded, let's select the date column here, and then let's select this special value that says current date and time. This is pretty much just gonna like recognize the current date and time and store it in the column of our desire. In this case, we're selecting the date column for storing that value. The second thing we can do is just personalize a little bit more our form component so it looks like nicer. Let's add a little bit of a couple of separators here. So it has a little bit more space to breathe and maybe let's change the, the style of that container. Great. Now the next step is where the actual magic happens. We'll use Glide's new workflows feature. In this case, we're gonna use workflows in the following way. We're gonna use the audio recording file, then process it with AI to get a transcription, use AI again to generate a title based on information of that transcription, and then we're gonna use AI one more time to create a summary of our notes so it's easier to identify what are we talking about in that specific recording. To achieve that, let's create a custom workflow. Let's head to the new workflows tab over here and click on new workflow. Now here you can select different types of triggers like an app interaction based on time, based on an email that you receive uh, or based on a workflow. In this case, let's choose app interaction. Now this is the workflows editor. Let's remove this first action over here and let's add our own. I mentioned that the first step is to create a transcription of our audio recording. So in this case, I'm gonna add another action and look for the audio to text option. And then, then I'm gonna select for the audio input, our recording file that we store in our table. And I'll send the transcription to the transcription file over here. Second step will be to create a short title using AI based on the content of that transcription. To do so, let's add another action and look for generate text, the generate text action. I will add instructions to generate a short title based on the transcription of a audio recording. Something like that, very simple. And for the input, I'm gonna select the transcription that we just generated with AI in the previous step. Now, the result, in this case, the generated title will be sent to the title column. So now we have our two first steps. The last step will be to generate a summary of our audio recording. In this case, it will be super helpful in case you have like long voice notes that you want to process and just get like the main insights of that information. To do that, let's add another step and let's choose generate text again. In this case, let's instruct the AI to generate a summary. Let's say something like generate a summary of this audio recording transcription. And for the input, let's select the transcription column again. The result will be sent to the summary column. The cool things about workflows is that you can add as many actions as you want. You can also add conditional branching, loops, and many other cool things. If you want to learn more of how to use the full power of workflows, subscribe to the channel because there are more tutorials to come. Now, let's add just one more action to show a notification 
once the action is completed. Cool, now we completed our workflow. So let's name this to something like generate a title and a summary. Now let's get back to our layout editor, click on the form container, and after the submit action, this means once you submit the form, this workflow is gonna be performed. So let's select our workflow that we already created under workflows for recordings. Great. So now let's put our app to test. Let's click on record. Let's submit this form and see what happens. Now, if we look at our data, we can see that a transcription has been generated as well as a title and even a summary as predicted. So perfect, it works. So to finalize our app, let's add one more component to make it cooler. Let's add a list component to showcase all the recordings. In this case, we'll use the title, the date, and the summary generated in order to show the different recordings. And that's it. In just a couple minutes, we basically created an AI-powered note-taking app using the power of workflows. But this is just a simple example of what you can do with workflows. So subscribe to the channel for more in-depth tutorials and learn how to leverage workflows. I'll see you in the next one.